Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. On today's how-to, we're going to show you, uh, a, give you a quick overview of uh, Wix data filters and, and how to work with them. Um, the example, or the website that we're going to use for this example is a property search website and we've got a few filters in here. The one is property type, the other one is bedrooms, and then we've got a price range. So a user might want to search from say 100,000 up to 250,000. Um, we're just going to show you how that works. So um, let us quickly just refresh this. It looks like it didn't load properly. Just to give you an idea of, um, of there we go, of the listings that we're going to search. So here you can see I've got six listed properties, all with different prices, um, different bedrooms and so forth. So what this is really about is when you're searching some fields by leaving other fields blank, um, they should still work. So let's search for instance, this one, a price range up to 500,000. We leave all the other fields blank um, just to show you how that works. So you can see that this is the only property listed under 300,000 and it is listed probably as a house. So let's put in filter the apartment and you'll see that now it should show us no, no listings. If we go back to house, it should show us the house as well. Now this property has two bedrooms. So the moment we say two bedrooms, it should still show. See no change there. And if we say price 100,000 to 500,000, it's still within these parameters, so it will work. If we clear or take this price to a million, we should now see quite a bit more properties um, available. So we've got three properties that match our criteria. So how does this work? What are the tricks? Um, let's get into this real quick. So just inside my editor, I've got the property type, um, which is basically text field. I've got the bedrooms and Importantly, I've placed here any, um, and I've given the value of zero. One is one, two is two, and so forth, but any is, is the first option. So if a guy um, selects an option and he wants to go back, you'll see he can't click on bedrooms because it's a blank value, but if he does click on any, it will actually still have a value of zero. So it will still show all the properties with, a, um, with bedrooms of zero and more, um, which is what you want. Then for price from and price to, we actually did a similar thing. Um, we created a price from and we've given it a value of zero. Um, then for the price, then the other one's 100,000, the, the value is also 100,000, the label of 250, value is 250. And then with price to, we did the same thing. So we've given it a max value of say 100 million, you know, something that, that might be way up there. Um, considering the, the type of filtering you're doing. And then when the search button is clicked, um, it should run these parameters and filter this data set that we've connected the repeater to. So uh, very important um, to know what we're actually filtering. So I'm showing a max display of 50. I only have six listings on here, so it's not really relevant now, but um, you'll see that this is connected to the property listings data set, this repeater. None of these dropdowns are connected to the data set. You see there, I click on them, there is nothing in this um, in this connected to data. None of them are linked. We simply create or use them to create the values that we want to search the data set with. So getting into the code, uh, this little bit here is what we should filter focus on. So you're going to import your Wix data uh, from Wix data. And then when the button is click, clicked, we say $w dataset one dot set filter Wix data filter with these round curly brackets. Now this is pretty standard stuff you'll get into the Wix in the Wix API. So there's nothing that you have to do there except just update the data set to your data set name. What is important is what we're going to do now. So when we say contains, it's a bit more flexible than using equals. Equals always looks for an exact match. So when you're using equals, this dropdown will always need to have a value. Um, where as you use contains, it can be empty, which is great. So contains works a bit better for this, um, especially we need a bit of flexibility across your filters. And then we've just simply selected our 
property type, which is the database key. Let's just show you where to find that. It's very important that you use the correct key, and I'd, I'd advise, um, you know, if you've got a, a complex setup, literally copy and paste them over um, as you'll need them to be exactly right. Um, otherwise, it, it won't work for your, for your search criteria. So it's right at the end, property type. And click on Manage Properties, and this field key here, this is the one you want. So you can see it's... It doesn't have any spaces, uh, it's created a, a camel keyword, so it's got this capital letter right in the middle where the words actually split. This is the key that you would want to use right here. So you can see that is exactly the same. The same with bedrooms, the same as price. So make sure your field keys are correct. Um, we've, we've gotten this so many times where you, you spell the, the word with a capital letter and the key is with lowercase and so forth. So very, very important thing to make sure you get that right. Okay, so back to the property type. What this simply is, is we're going to filter that property type with the drop downs value. So this one is drop down one dot value. Now for my bedrooms, for property listings website, it makes logically sense that a guy would want to see something with the selected bedrooms that he selected or more bedrooms. So I've went for, for GE, which is greater and equals to the value of this drop down. So greater than equals our database field key and drop down to's value which um, as we've shown earlier has even if you select any has a value of 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it will always show an equal match or a greater value than the current one and then importantly price so we say dot between price and my price value um, is number value if I remember correctly in the database so let's just quickly make sure of that because it is also something that kept us busy figuring out so you can see there that it's field type is a number it's not text and why is that important well because you can't really create a range with text um, if you're trying to, to search numbers so we said dot between the field key is price and then importantly we say pass float drop down 3 dot value and pass float drop down 4 dot value now why pass float what is pass float mm -hmm. it converts a text to a number so the value that we're going to get from this drop down is a text value and we want that value to be a number value by the time we search on it so even though this is only numbers it still gets formatted as text so saying pass float we convert this drop down's value into a number value and drop down's 4's, four's value into a number value as well so you can see they drop down four, uh, drop down four is there, and that's drop down three, the price from, and the price two. And then we simply say dot then results, um, we console.log the filter, and then we give the repeater the results. Um, in fact, when using a, a repeater or a data filter like this, we don't even need to give the repeater the results, the filter will automatically update it um, with, uh, with the new Wix functionality. So, that is very simply how you build a filter um, and let's just give it one last overview of how it works let's give this page a refresh so you can see all the listings okay so you can see that we've got six listings let's look for listings between 500,000 and a million in price Okay, so these listings all match the criteria. They are all between 500,000 and a million. Now, if we're going to look for something with only four bedrooms or more, we should probably only see uh, this one pop up. So let's just do a filter of the bedrooms and say search, and there we go. Only this property is showing now. So only property with four bedrooms and the prices have shown. If I now try and say I want land, or oh, that won't work, a villa, and we search this property should hide because it is classified as a house, if I remember correctly. Guys, that's as simple as that. Um, thanks for tuning in. Cheers for today. Bye.